Hello Aslina family and friends. My name is Nsugi Biela, the winemaker and owner of Aslina Wines. I'd like to introduce you to a beautiful, beautiful range of wine. As you can see, we now have five instead of four. When we started, we had four wines and now we, we are on the fifth one. Just to recap a little bit, Aslina, that's my grandmother's name. And the reason it's on the bottle is basically in honor of her and honoring the woman she is and the woman she and the person who has contributed so much in, into my life. And looking at the logo of the label, the logo of the label is the calabash, which is our clay pot that we use for our traditional beer. But what we decided to do is to put in grapes just to combine the two cultures uh, to see where we are um, where we've we, where we are and what we're making currently. So we've got five of our wines that I would like to introduce to you. We've got our Sauvignon Blanc and one thing we did was basically to make sure that each and every wine is unique from each other, even if it's white wine but it's unique in style, it's unique in character, it represents itself the way it wants to be. All the wines are based on how I taste the wines and how I want to enjoy the wines. But when it comes to the Sauvignon Blanc, it was based basically on the character that I wanted to experience and so um, this Sauvignon Blanc has been on the lease and what I love about it, it is freshness, vibrant wine but at the same time it sits on your palate, it tantalizes your palate and you actually get it chilled, throw your, put your feet up and literally relax and enjoy the wine. And then we've got the Chardonnay. When it comes to our Chardonnay, Again, when I started tasting Chardonnays, I used to enjoy more of the wooded Chardonnay when I'm judging competitions. But when I'm just drinking, having a glass, I want to have unwooded, but I always feel like something is missing. So what I decided to do with the Chardonnay is I blended the two, have the wooded Chardonnay and the unwooded, but from cold climate and warm climate regions. So it's different regions, fermented or treated differently and then blend it together at the end so that I get that balance of a little bit of wood but at the same time keep that freshness in the wine. So it's beautiful character, beautiful flavours and it's a wine that you can have on its own or you can enjoy it with food. Uh, it's just, it's refreshing. And then we've got this adventurous child which is our Chenin Blanc. So we're calling it it's the adventurous one because it's a skin fermented. So I've always wanted to make a skin fermented wine and actually a white wine. And when I was thinking on the wine to add on the range, and I thought actually Chenin Blanc, because that is one of the wines that we have in abundance in South Africa. But for me, again, I was like, I needed to have a twist. So how do I do that? And I realized actually, I've been wanting to make a skin fermented. So I did a skin fermented um, uh, Chenin Blanc. This is why I'm saying this is an adventurous wine. So it basically checks you out. It's the wine that's going to challenge you, that's going to make you get out of your comfort zone and have a complete different um, experience on the palate. It's a beautiful wine. It's got tannins because it's got, it was on the skin, but at the same time, because it's a white wine, so it's got a little bit of touch of the red characters, but it's a white wine. So, and it's refreshing. So it's very beautiful, but it has to be extremely chilled for it actually to represent itself uh, in a way that you'll find it very refreshing. Coming to the Cabernet Sauvignon, I think this is one of our wines that actually makes people who say, I don't drink cab, uh, you find them going, oh yeah, actually I can have this. And so because of that, we call this the playboy in the house because it teases you and you actually were not interested in drinking cab, but it teases you and get under your skin and then you find yourself saying, I want to be with this cab and then you enjoy the cab. Beautiful, full of fruit, but at the same time, beautiful balanced character of the wine. Um, and then we come to the serious one, Umsasane. So Umsasane, the name is the Akasha tree, which is an iconic tree in Africa. And the reason it's called Umsasane is because it's my grandmother's nickname. And this is our Bordeaux blend, Cabernet Sauvignon, Cabernet Franc and Petit Verdot. And this is the one that is a serious wine that when you approach it, I always say it's the wine that you need to approach it with respect. Uh, create a, a, an environment for it, create um, a memory, prep your food, have, uh, relax and just approach it, have a sip and it basically, it's a wine with a soul, it grounds you. Like they all have a soul, but that one is like it's a mother in the house that's going to ground you. Thank you, enjoy.